guys, Brian. Welcome back to the ninth part of this 12-part mini-series I have going on my channel for the rest of the year that I am calling the 12 Holidays of Halloween in The Sims 4. So let me explain. If you know me or have been following my channel for a bit, you may know that I am known to be a bit obsessed with Halloween. It is my favorite holiday and has been since I was a kid. Hell, I even liked it better than Christmas growing up. I just love the time of the year, the dressing up, the spooky vibes. I just love it all. So because of that, I follow a bunch of pages on, on Facebook that are Halloween related. And one day, I was just scrolling through my Facebook feed, and this picture popped up. And this picture is basically a list of a Halloween-themed holiday for every month of the year. And my first immediate thought was, I have Sims 4 Seasons. I could create every single one of these holidays in my game and play through them all and have an excuse to have Halloween themed content on my channel all year. And when I realized that, I was like, yes, please. So that is exactly what I did. And yes, I am aware this is probably even Halloween anymore in real life and we still have this holiday before we get to the actual Halloween holiday on the list. But that just means I'm going to be spamming this series in the next day or so. And technically, I am recording this on Halloween. I just have really slow internet when it comes to upload speed. So, yeah, my a video probably won't be uploaded till early the next morning or late, late Halloween. So, I do apologize for that. But let's go ahead and jump into this holiday. Alright, so the holiday we are celebrating today is what the list is calling pre-Halloween. So this was the holiday for September. Unfortunately, I didn't get this list till a couple of months into the year. So we're still slightly playing catch up again. That's why it's coming out slightly after Halloween. So I do apologize. But like I said, this was for the month of September. And the list works where there's a month for each holiday. So obviously... October is going to be Halloween, just straight up Halloween. So I think they're calling it pre-Halloween because it's like the holiday or the month before Halloween. And because of that, I'm kind of taking my own spin on it and turning it into All Hallows Eve type vibe. So we have very black and white, witchy, skulls, you know, type of vibe. So that is what we are going for. And I try to kind of resemble that in the holiday traditions so, uh, we do have wear costumes. We have that every single holiday, so we'll have to do that. And then we also have gardening because, like I said, witchy vibes. Uh, we have decorate. I just thought that was a fun one to have for pre-Halloween. We have remembrance, which is uh, we have to click on a gravestone or urn to, or talk with a ghost to earn remembrance. So, we'll, we'll have to do that. And then also we have Festival Lighting. I thought that was kind of witchy, very uh, All Hollow Eve vibes. So that is the a holiday we are celebrating today. So if you've been watching this series, you may have picked up on the fact that I have really been enjoying making a new house for the family to live in almost every single episode and kind of making it reflect the whatever holiday we are on that episode. And I really wanted to do that this episode, but I didn't quite have as much time as normal. Like, I literally had a few hours versus a few days. So, because of that, I decided to get a little bit of help. So, I knew I wanted a skull-shaped house. I wanted a skull-shaped house because I thought that was very pre halloween -y, Day of the Dead, slash, like, uh, All Hallows' Eve vibes. And it also slightly brought in the witchy spookiness. So I thought that would be a perfect fit for this house. But like I said, I didn't have time to build it myself. So I looked up on the gallery, Skull House, and I was just going to, like, gut it and uh, use whatever er, shell I got. But... I found this house on the gallery, and I thought it was too perfect, because one, it was a sugar skull, so, you know, Day of the Dead, and it's my skull-shaped house that I wanted, but two, it was a blank house on the inside, it, and it already pretty much had a floor plan, I did adjust the floor plan a little bit, but it also had, like, wallpaper and stairs and railings and windows already, so I was like, you know what, 
you know what? I'm just going to keep the wallpaper, keep the floor, redo the the floor plan just slightly, and then just add furniture and more stuff to the yard. I didn't delete any of the landscaping. I just slightly adjusted it to fit my needs. So it's pretty much the same house, just I furnished the inside. So this is by Goblin Dolly, and it was made... Uh, well, it doesn't show me because this, yeah, it was, was it really just made today? Shared today? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I literally found this house the day it was found in the gallery. Great. Okay. That's awesome. But this is her house originally. And then this is what I did with it. So before I even show oh, it off in just regular mode, I got to go into mill mode and show you guys this the lighting at night. I know like we're going to be playing at night, but look how pretty the house lights up and how it lights up the yard. Oh my, I just think it's so pretty. I just think it's so pretty. I love it. But let's go back into the uh, daytime. So this is what it looks like kind of around and there is a lot in the yard. So let's go ahead and show this build off real quick. So this is what it looks like from the front come in you got your mail uh mailbox there your trash cans here we got the candy bowl with a grim reaper a little bench for them to sit on and the front porch but but if you go around this way and come through the trees i kind of like have this little party area hidden in the tree it through the trees and stuff so we have Black balloon lights everywhere, like these and these at the cake table. I did a whole cake table setup. I tried to, like, specifically put it where she'd be standing on the back of the table. I tried to make every other side of the table not available, but this is where the cake table's going to be. We have a speaker. We have some swing sets for when a toddler turns into a kid. We have a little food table, oh, some eating areas. So we have all that. And then if you go around here, there's a back porch here. This is where our pumpkin carving stations are. I put some skull lights. And then this brings you to the graveyard because we do need to mourn or I guess just like interact with the urnary grave to earn some of our traditions. And I don't know if we'll be able to use these graves, but I plan on adding one. So stick around for that. And then also another tradition is gardening. So I set this up a garden. I brought our patchy and our apple trees from the last house. And then I gave us some planters and some seed pockets as well as some plasma fruit. Because we are playing in the vampire world. So I thought it was only appropriate. And that is the whole yard. And then if you go up to the front porch, this is what us you have when you come in. You have this little whole entrance area with the staircase and whatnot. So you have a candy bowl in here. I know we had a candy bowl outside, but I just have multiple candy bowls. So we have one here in the entrance way, and then we have this little hall guest bathroom, but it also has a tub because we have a toddler and a cat. So I put a tub there, and the other bathroom doesn't have a tub. So I put a tub in the downstairs bathroom. We have a little toilet area here. Um, the windows have red curtains because it is very black and white theme, but it also has a lot of red accents. So we have a staircase up there to the landing. Uh, I have a little hidden kit, kitty area down here just with a uh, scratching post and a little box for her to sleep in some toys. And then if you come in this direction, this is the kitchen. And we have an actual little kitchen area over here. So I very much went with a bunch of decorations. There's literally only one counter to... Uh, cook on but I thought all the decorations were really cool especially with the spiderweb uh, wallpaper the house came with I thought it looked really cool and spooky and slightly witchy we have a dining room table we have a candle I think we have to light these for one of the traditions and then I put this huge spider here because I have to have that at least once in all my builds and then we have a little cat section we need to put cat food in there and then we also have a little cauldron here that I plan on using and this is how you get to the little back porch right here and then if you go upstairs you follow this and then you come up here and there's this whole living area in the landing area so we have a little 
board right here. We have some spi more spiders. We have a computer area. We have a big dollhouse for our toddler that will be turning into a kid. We also have an art table. I don't know if she'll have actually use it after she ages up, but I put it there just in case. And we have the living slash TV area. Has some bookshelves along the wall. We have the decoration box because we're going to need that. And then when it comes to bedrooms, we have the toddler slash kid room here. So I did put an, a bed for both a toddler and a kid since she'll be a toddler half this episode and a kid the other half. And then we have a bunch of toys and a candy bowl lined up here. We have a little potty chair. We have a dresser with a speaker and some cats on it because she's very much a cat, a black cat girl. We have a little sitting area for reading and we have a bunch of stuffies because I thought that would actually come in a lot of use. <laughs> so we have the stuffies and then if we come around here, we have the parents bedroom with the double door. And you come in here. This is their room. We have a little get ready area here. I want a lot of clutter this time around. And I kind of may have went with the same thing we did with the kids room last episode. And uh, since we we're already using the uh, spider web wallpaper, I decided to go ahead and put a spider on almost all the spider webs so this room is covered in spiders so I thought it was perfect because it gives the red accent and I also did these like funky rugs I thought it was really cool so I have that we have the witchy bed I used a lot of stuff from realm of magic we have their personal candy bowl we have some more rugs over here and a single rose because I just loved that as a little accent there's not too much to this room but I didn't want to make it too busy and then if you go down here, we have the cat's bedroom slash bathroom. So it has an automatic litter box. We have some cat lights. We have another cat tree here. We have a little ball section with a cat playing with some yarn. And then if you go across here, this is the bathroom. So this is the upstairs bathroom. We have a shower. We got some towels and robes. We have a counter with towels on it for when you have a shower and a sink area and a toilet. So that was, all looked good there. And I believe that is the whole house. Okay, so let's start out with the tradition I think is easiest to complete, and that is decorating. So it's already checked off because I did go into build mode after the holiday started. But I do want to, like, tr additionally complete it, and that would be to use the decoration box and go ahead and put up decorations. Okay, actually, these are really cute. Hold up. Hold up. Let's, uh, so it looks like on the roof we have some black, orange, and purple flags, and then, uh, on the fences we have some orange flags, which I think is really cute and fitting. And then, do we have anything on the... We have some orange lights on the foundation. You can't see them very well, but they're there. And I think that's all the decorations we got. But hey, that's better than nothing. So that tradition is complete. So let's go ahead and get the parents up. Get them working on their needs. Um, the toddler's still asleep. I'm going to let her sleep as much as possible. I am going to go ahead and have her go potty. And then when she wakes up, I'll have her change into her outfit. And then, Kelly, you can go ahead and use the restroom in here and maybe start off your morning with a nice hand wash. Lance, you can use the bathroom downstairs. So you come ahead and come down here and use, and then you can wash your hands an extra time. And let's go ahead and select their costumes. Now, I do make custom costumes every out, uh, episode, so I will change them into that at some point. But while, to complete this tradition, you have to actually select like the sim and click wear costume and select a costume. So these are our choices. And honestly, we've done most of these at, at this point. But I kind of thinking Darth Maul because this house is very red, white, and black. And that's very Darth Maul. I know we've already done a Star Wars themed episode, but I don't think we used 
use Darth Maul? I think we used Darth Vader last time. So I think this time we are going to do Darth Maul. If we've done it before, it's like they're just reusing their outfits. It's fine. And then her, I also am going to have her do a Star Wars costume to match. There's not a lot of um, choices. There's this, a Leia, whatever. We have Princess Leia and a Space Ranger. I think we're going to go with Princess Leia, though. I, I, that may be a repeat costume, too. But there's only so many options, and there's 12 holidays. So, yeah, we're going to reuse a little bit there. All right. So, let's go do that. And then they can all have breakfast. We do need to give the cat food as well. So, let's go ahead and fill that. And then we can open the fridge. I'm thinking let's just get some fruit salad out of the fridge for uh, breakfast. Let's see. Okay, you come here and grab a serving. Let's see. Stop chatting with her. And you, instead of coming and chatting with him, how about you come grab a serving and y'all can sit together and eat breakfast. All right. So oh, there we go. That, actually, that timing worked out perfectly. Why aren't y'all sitting at the dining room table? You guys, why are y'all sitting outside? I mean, I know the weather's nice and all, but there was a whole dining room table in the kitchen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But this is a cute moment. So I will get this. All right. So the toddler is not awake yet. So I guess we could go ahead and get the gardening out of the way. Like, we also need to bake a cake. But they both need gardening. So let's go ahead and do the gardening first. So, Dad, I think I'll have you come harvest all. Is there any watering that needs to be done on these? No? Just harvesting? Okay, well, you can come harvest. And then, Mom, I'm going to drag all the seed packets into your inventory. And we can go ahead and... And get some plants to plant because we do have the gardening traditions. So I left us some planter boxes to plant in. But first we have to open the uh, seed packets. Okay, open. You can, right, there we go. And let's, we can only open one in a category at a time. And there, each stack is a category. All right, but let's go ahead and open you. You can open this. Okay, come on. Open it. There we go. All right, so we have a bunch of plants. Pear. I don't want to do any... I don't really want to do any trees. I think a pear is a tree, right? Yeah, that's a tree. Okay, I, I think we're not going to do the pear, so I'll sell that. But we have other stuff we can do. So we have a bunch of flowers. We have snapdragons. Wow, we got a snapdragon right away. That's great. Uh, Delilah, whatever that is. We have a bunch of begonias. We have a mandrake and vineyard. Is that all we have? And we also have roses and clementines already. We have some apples, but those are trees. Yeah, wow, this is all we have. I thought we would get more from that, honestly. Did I put all of the... No, this one... There's uh, uncommon plants in his inventory. Let's see what that one gives us. So let's go ahead and open the seed packet. Somehow that got in his inventory. Oh, we got coconuts. Boo! That's also a tree, right? I don't want coconuts, especially since that's summer and spring. Boo! That was a waste of time. Okay. Well, we got what we got. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to put the two magical fruits or uh, plants in the back. And then, let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay, Snapdragon. Okay, right, so we have enough to do looks like we're mainly going to be doing flowers and let's go ahead and plant two snapdragons and then honestly I feel like we should have other stuff besides flowers but whatever whatever um are these all fall yeah I just want to make sure I know these are fall yeah okay so at least they're all fall flowers so I guess we're just having a flower garden this time so I'm going to put those there, and then uh, these we can put here. There we go. Let's see, we have two roses, but I don't want to plant both the roses because one of them was a gift from my husband, but we could put one of the roses. I mean, might, might as well. 
And then, do we just do another thing of begonias, or should we get more flowers, or plants? I feel like we should just get something else. Something else. Like, we have to have something else. Come here, let's go ahead and, all right. What are our options? We have vegetables. We could do vegetables. Maybe we should stick with the flowers. We could do a magical plants and just have more magical plants as well. Okay, let, let's do a magical plant and a starter flower and see what we get. Let's just see what we get when we use these. So we put these in her inventory and go ahead and open seed packet and open C packet and let's see what we get. Oh, we got more mandrake and that I assumed we would. We have more snapdragons. Okay, I guess that does actually kind of work because I want it to have snapdragons anyways. So let's go here and then we can plant two more of these and then we can put the magical plants here. Perfect. I think that lines up quite nicely. So let's go ahead and have her come plant all these while he harvests some plants. Come on, let's go, let's go. You're harvesting. Hey, right, let's get a picture of them working on the garden together. Let's see. I want I want to get a picture on her knees and then him uh, grabbing plants. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently it, it took him that long to grab have a plant so let's go ahead and uh okay we only have like one more shot right, there we go this is our moment this is our moment there we go there we go let's get this shot of them in the garden how freaking cute oh we have bills <laughs> we have bills all right well um darth maul can you please come pay the bills our five thousand dollar bills Okay, our baby is still not awake, but she got a pee, so, I mean, her energy is mostly good, so I'm going to go ahead and get her up while these Sims are working on the garden, so can you please get up, girly? Yeah. Alright, and the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to cheat her tradition. I know there's only two cost, or, oh, there's three. There's three traditions she wants to do, but I'm going to cheat the costumes one because the only, there's only one Halloween-related costume. And, uh, we used it last episode, and I think it's too colorful for her. So, I'm just gonna cheat this and change her into her custom outfit. Because she's gonna age up this episode, which means she's gonna have another a costume, too. So, it's like she already has two costumes this episode. So, I'm just gonna let her, or Trisha, be cheated and her change into her werewolf costume. Let's see, you, are you... Okay, you're done paying bills. You you did not plant all the plants. Why didn't you plant all the plants? Can you please? There's no more room. Yes, there is. See, I can plant this one. That's so weird. Come here and plant. Okay, we're just going to select. No, don't eat the mandrake. Oh, God. I didn't even know you could eat the mandrake. Can we plant the mandrake? Okay, just I'm just setting up a couple of plants here just in case she misses some i would like her to go ahead and plant all of them and then i'll have her water but darth maul let's see we have our guard we pretty much have all this so i guess the next thing we really need to work oh the taller oh yeah the taller's way um the next thing we really need to work on is the remembrance so we could find a ghost and talk to a ghost which is fun and all. That's fine. Also, what is this? Wolfsbane. Okay, let's, let's um, harvest the wolfsbane and harvest the um, mosquito snapchat. But I think it would be more fun to kill a sim and then interact with his grave. Because we do have a graveyard. But these are all graves that came in build and buy. So you can't actually, like, you know interact with them properly like you need to so in, uh, in the fun since there is a bunch of ghosts out here I will have him interact with the ghost but he doesn't like that tradition so that won't really help him I still want him to lure someone in so we can kill them though so as soon as he is done 
with this. We'll have that. Are you done? You're not done planting. Oh my goodness. How, how much longer are you going to take? Okay, let's go ahead and have you set up to water all. And after she does that, I need to her to bake a cake because it is the toddler's birthday. So let's go ahead and, uh, did you harvest this? Okay, good. You did. All right. We'll, um, deal with that in a minute, but let's, uh, come talk to this woman, Rose May or something, whatever. But I feel like talking to a ghost, this would give him the, I don't know, the want to kill someone. I don't know. Let's just do a respectful introduction. She's dead. I feel like we should be very uh, respectful here. Okay, I love that Like you're completing a tradition when you're doing a tradition that you don't like. I, I think it's kind of funny. Okay. But we have complete, let's do a respectful introduction. Maybe we can announce our engagement and we can, uh, we can uh, go ahead and friendly, uh, maybe compliments. We can maybe compliment or no, you know what? The better thing is we can friend <sighs> interactions here. Friendly compliments, admire ghost, because that's the interaction we can do. So I'm, oh, he is like, oh yeah, I'm excited about getting married. All right, but there's so many ghosts here. Like, oh my goodness. All right, but did you admire the ghost yet? Is that what you're doing now? Or you're just regularly chatting with her. Okay, cool. You met a ghost, but I want to kill someone. So. The easiest way, I think, to do that is to select one of the people here. So, we we have Janine, we have Bernice, I see a, a more living Sims besides ours. We have this guy right here, which is right next to us. So, maybe this is the move. So, let's go ahead and perhaps, you know what, I'm just going to cheat his death anyways. So, I'm just going to make this easier on myself. And perhaps add him to our family. <laughs> so I can just kill him like that. Okay. You are getting flirty talking with the ghost. I don't appreciate that. I want you to come home. <laughs> come home wherever our home is. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and, you know, teleport you here. And you can teleport here. All right. Come on. Oh, his holiday is going to be horrible when he dies. <laughs> Maybe his unfinished business is going to be uh, pre-Halloween. <laughs> Okay, can you please teleport here? Because you're supposed to be, like, the one technically murdering him. Okay. Let's see. Are you watering plants? You should be. So, you water some plants in the background here. And when you're... Oh, you did not... You did not plant all the plants. Plant all the plants. And then water all. Please. Okay. But Darth Maul here, you are supposed to be technically, quote, unquote, killing him. But the easiest way I know to kill a sim is to cheat it. So I'm going to shift click, kill, kill by a vicious rabbit. And uh, then Darth Maul will probably react to the death. Do they actually know each other from being a house? Okay, they do know each other a little bit. So they might be a little sad, but if they're sad, I'm just going to uh, cheat the mood a little way. Because it's a holiday. They shouldn't be sad. So let's go ahead and have you be killed by a vicious rabbit the rabbit will be invisible but i think that's actually fitting for this because you know uh you know you know the whole like, ghost thing so like i'm just gonna say we just sent a ghost rabbit on him <laughs> that is my story here oh and we have grim here <laughs> let's get grim in the background honestly this shot right here is kind of the shot this is kind of the shot. I absolutely love this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. So we have that. He is dead. Grim, come reap him. Come reap him. So we can get his grave, please. Oh, oh. Okay. You, you, uh, you're, you're just doing confusion. Uh, oh, that's kind of funny. You're just having a react, like, confusion used reaction okay but they're gonna she's gonna water her plants while grim comes and gets our sim love this <laughs> this is kind of 
every, oh my god, our toddler's coming out here. I didn't want our toddler to see this. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry you had to see this. Oh, no. I hope this doesn't, like, scar him for life or her for life. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hold on. Just get the shot here of all of them here. Okay. Okay. Um, sweetie, what are you doing? You're hungry. You're hungry. I should have probably already had you eating by now. I'm gonna... Oh, the cat is eating the fruit salad. And is it about to spoil? It has one hour till it spoils. Okay, well, I just ruined that fruit salad by not putting it up. Sir, sir, can you, like, come groom yourself over here or something? And you, I'm gonna teleport you here before you see that dead sim. You poor little toddler. And how about you grab a serving? Grab a serving while we're waiting on Grim to reap the soul. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that away because it's not going to be any good. All right. But let's go ahead and, uh, you know, Grim, if you could hurry up, that'd be great. All right. There we go. So we have the new notification where we can put it to either become a playable ghost or a free roaming own ghost. I don't want to deal with this ghost. So we're just going to become a free roaming ghost. There we go. There we go. And we can line up that grave there. And now we can in, uh, actually interact with the grave. So you you don't really care about this tradition, honestly. But I'm so just out of respect going to have him come. Uh, oh, you can just straight up add the yeah, ghost to household now. Fantastic. But we're not going to do that. Oh, we can leave a sugar skull offering. Do we have anything? We have like plasma fruit. Oh, we also have this stuff to plant. I forgot we grabbed this stuff to plant too. Oops, I should have already had her do that. Well, uh, um, yeah, there's no room in the planters anymore, but I could, I guess, plant. I could either plant a couple things in the corner or I could plant some right here. I guess right here works the best. I'll just plant one of each. Just one of each. So, uh, we can come plant these in a second. Maybe, maybe I'll do two. We'll, we'll do, we'll do one, uh, Venus flytrap because that's all we have and two Wolfsbane. They can be a little pattern there. Okay. We will, uh, deal with that in a minute. Can you stop? There we go. Um, right quick. I want them both to come interact with the graves. So let's go ahead and leave a sugar skull offering and then I guess we'll leave a plasma fruit. Um, and then we can maybe... Uh, we could call forth the ghost. Is there anything else we can do? Strengthen connection to the physical world. We'll do that. And you can come here and also leave a sugar skull offering and maybe, uh, I don't want you to mourn because, you know, you didn't know the sim really. So maybe you can leave a description. I don't think that's a natural interact. Oh, it is. Okay. So, I'll queue up for her to leave an uh, interaction. Hey, okay, Grim is out of here. See ya, Grim. See ya. All right. So, it looks like she is sitting on the ground. To oh, okay. Well, she he got the interaction. Did you, can you, can you not leave it if one's already been left? No, I think you can leave one. Okay. You leave a sugar skull offering next. Let's see. Um... Okay, well, apparently only one of them can interact with the grave at a time, but I can at least get it, a picture of them interacting with the graves. All right. Did you leave your sugar skull offering? Maybe? I think it, it was left. Okay, they at least left it. Let's see. Okay, apparently that's not enough to get the tradition. It says, click on earn, gravestone, and choose any of the available options. You can also meet and interact with ghosts. Uh, you phys uh, do the physical. Okay, you, you stop doing that. You stop doing that. Um, how about you come here and, yeah, if it's already been in left. How about you go ahead. I don't want you to mourn, but you can strengthen the connection. While you, sir, uh, perhaps since you don't have that tradition you can come do a little bit of actual gardening so why can't you why can't you plant it there we go plant these here make sure he plants all three 
<laughs> All right. Oh, she's just going to sit on top of the plants. <laughs> like, I tried to get um him to come do the, the plants, but she is just kind of, like, sitting here. On, okay, well, she's connecting, catching the strings, so hopefully that'll work. We can uh, summon his ghost, I guess. Oh, are you just going to? Yeah, you're just going <laughs> to sit through her. Okay, okay, that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Okay, right, let's see if we can go ahead and water. And let's see, you, that did not, that did not help. That did not help our tradition at all. It doesn't even have a glowing. So I guess we are going to have to summon the ghost forward. I know we just killed you, man, but can you come forward? <laughs> can you come forward? I just really need to, f to finish my uh, tradition. Oh, he is angry. He is an angry ghost. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we perhaps try to calm down? Let's try to calm this angry ghost down. Oh my god, you're back. You're back. Did you keep hearing your needs? Okay, you keep hearing your needs. How about instead of dealing with the ghost as a toddler? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, let's go ahead and perhaps bring... Oh, Grim is just hanging out upstairs I thought he left okay let's teleport her back to her room and maybe have her play with some toys I think that would be the best move here um we we could get up a couple of her skills before she ages up so really a communication would be a good one to get up uh imagination would be a good one to get up I'm not gonna mess with thinking Potty's not necessary we already have movement skill up to level three so I think let's go ahead and uh, maybe we didn't put a tent in this build, right? I don't think we did. Yeah, there wasn't room for one. So maybe we can go ahead and have her play dolls three times and see how much that gets up her imagination skill. And then I'm going to have her hug each and every one of these. And then you can talk to this one. And that's all you have interaction for. So... If you could teleport up here and play with your dollhouse. I'll get a picture of you playing with the dollhouse while Grim is just sitting here. That's kind of like everything. Um, I, I honestly love that more than I should, honestly. Let's get a picture er, of our little toddler playing with, with Grim. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a wacky episode. <laughs> All right. Well... There we go. We have that. Mom, let's interact with the ghost. Let's try to have you calm down. Oh, good. That um, count as our interaction. That count as our interaction. So we don't need the ghost anymore. Can we, like, um, we can't ask him to go away. <laughs> I, want, I, I left you a sugar skull offering. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be being mean to me. Can you just go away? But, well, if you're not going to calm down, just go away. I mean, I know we we like killed you and all but <laughs> you know bye 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 thank you okay all right well all of those traditions are complete so while the toddler is busy how about let's go ahead and do our pumpkins like we do every episode so put the pumpkin things back here so you come ahead and carve a pumpkin and honestly, I know we did a ghost last episode, but with what just happened, I feel like ghosts all the way. So we're going to do a white ghost on you, and you can come here and carve a pumpkin. Honestly, just do matching ghost ones. We do matching ghost pumpkins. I think that would be too cute. All right, so we can get a picture of them in their Halloween outfits. And then after they're done with this, I am going to have them change their outfits because one it's about halfway through the episode, so it's about time for them to change into their custom outfits. But two, they kind of murdered someone in these Halloween outfits, so maybe they should change. So you can come here, and I am going to, where is it? Outfits, change your outfit, and he is going to be a goth wizard, and she... Go ahead and outfits is a goth witch. So you guys can do your pumpkins and then you can change your outfits. Why are they always so flirty? Always so flirty. Okay. Come here. Are you guys are you guys about done? No, they're only halfway through. At least they're not socializing with each other. Let's see. How are you doing? You're playing dolls. Maybe you can only play dolls twice. Because I do want you to work on communication a little bit too. 
All right. They have their pumpkins done. They have changed their outfits. Let's get a picture of them with their final results and their Halloween costume. All right. So you can go ahead and light candle and light candle. So, you know, what? I'm just, I'm going to make this easy on myself and literally put them right by the back door. We already have enough by the front door, honestly. So I'm just going to squeeze them in here. I think that'll be the easiest way to go. So uh, let's go ahead and bring that down to the ground and then put it right there. Right there. There we go. All right, we have our matching pumpkins, which is honestly like, so cute. Like, oh my goodness, I love that. I actually love that. Okay. So the matching pumpkins. So the only tradition left is to light the candles. But the toddler enjoys doing this. I did want her to work on her skills, though. So maybe we can do some prep work for the a birthday party real quick. So we already obviously have the decorations. But, Mom, I wouldn't mind you going ahead and making a cake. We don't have the gourmet skill, unfortunately. So I can't make the black and white cake. I can, however, wait, it might help if I go to desserts. I can make a white cake, which is always an option. Um, yeah, that's our best option. <laughs> Let's make a white cake for our baby girl. And Lance, um, really? Oh, Patchy's here working on the garden. Thank you, Patchy. Okay, well, Lance, how about you... We've done pretty much everything we need to do, so how about you come grab a treat? Because we haven't done that this episode. So you can be grabbing a treat while she cooks up some cake. So let's let's get him being scared by the candy and her getting food out of the fridge. Honestly, this is kind of iconic. So we'll do that. And when we're done doing the cake, we'll do the candles with the whole family. And then we'll start a birthday party. So we can get that out of the way. I just want to get all the traditions out of the way first. Okay. But Lance, you know, you never get to do just stuff for fun. <laughs> Honestly. Is there a speaker in here? Did I remember to put a speaker in here? Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. I put everything else on the stupid counters except a speaker. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll just uh, add a little speaker in here. Let's go ahead and we'll just do a wall speaker. Make it simple on ourselves. And that kind of adds something above the fridge, too. Hey, let's turn on some spooky music, shall we? Let's turn on uh, spooky. Where is it? Spooky music. And you come and dance, please. All right. We're just waiting on the cake to be finished. The toddler. How about you go ahead and stop playing with dolls? You almost got your imagination skill up. But I want you to work on your communication skill. So let's go ahead and have you come talk to all of these a little bit. Okay. That gets all that up. And then, Mom, are you done with the cake? Good, 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 good. You are done with the cake. So you can come here and go ahead and add birthday candles. And, Mom, I actually wouldn't mind you going ahead and doing a little bit of the prep work for the birthday party out here, too. So you could come fill the fountain with fruit punch and then serve all and turn on some uh well i guess we'll turn on spooky music for out here too turn on spooky music and then honestly i i, I kind of when you're done with that i know we're serving food at the party all right let's go ahead and put the cake out here too Go ahead and put that on the cake table before I forget. All right, there we go. All right, so that should be good. And Lance, while you're dancing, oh, okay, she's almost done. Perfect. Okay, there was one more thing I want you to do specifically, and I'm hoping you'll work with the cauldron in the corner, but I'm going to have her mix up some mac and cheese. Because that's the only interaction she can do without being a spellcaster, and honestly, I just want to see her stir the pot. So let's get a picture of her pouring her ingredients. Okay, but let's go ahead. Can you actually stir the pot? There we go. This is the picture I want. This is the picture I want. I mean, honestly, this is kind of uh, fantastic. Um, love that because she's like stirring the pot in a witch's outfit. Okay, let's make this mac and cheese real quick. Can you help her? Can you like select to help her? No. Okay. 
Well, that's gr not perfect. Okay. So you are pretty much done with what I have you set up to do. Your communication skill got most of the way up. So at right click, you do kind of need to go potty. So before we throw your party, let's go potty one last time. And uh, then it'll be time to do the candles and uh, throw a party. So let's go ahead and fast forward her making this mac and cheese. This is taking longer than I thought. Like, I know it's a huge pot of mac and cheese, but it's still taking longer than I thought. Okay, well, it's, um... I, also, it makes... It doesn't make, like, unlimited servings or something. Or does it only make 12 servings? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, come on. We're almost done. Level 3 of the cooking skill. Alright, is done. Oh, okay, there's 12 servings. But uh, that's what it is. It'll stay perfect. Like, it won't go bad as long as it's in the pot. Okay, so we have that for the party. Let's see, you... Oh, you're out here with Dad. Okay, so, uh, obviously, you finished going potty. So, I think it's time for everyone to come do the candles tradition so we can go ahead and start the birthday party. So, everyone come teleport down here, please. Come on, come on. Let's not create an ammo. I want you to teleport. Okay, everyone teleport into this little area. Perfect. And I think we are going to light candles with Lance and Holly. I think that's how you've done this. I've never done this tradition, so we are finding out together. <laughs> All right. Sarpa, can we, can we, okay, she's just calling people over. I thought for a minute she was saying she couldn't do it. But let's, um, see them do it. Are you going to light the candle? You're just kind of standing there. You're kind of just standing there. Are you going to actually light them? All right, there we go. There we go. And they are lit. Oh, look at the toddler coming over to admire them. How cute. Actually, where are you going? You're going to your dollhouse. You're going to play with your dollhouse. Yeah, uh, go figure. Go figure. But everything is set for the party. So let's go ahead and turn off all the music that is not outside, first of all. Because that that's the thing. Like, People will come in here and dance to th in the toddler's room to music. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and the, the camera's being very glitchy. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. All right, sh you guys have completed that. So let's go ahead and plan a social event. There we go. I'm not gonna make this gold. Because it's not like a spooky party or anything. It's li Why is that not check off? We can't do we'll anything else slider. more than that. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to cheat that because we totally did it. Um, but we are going to throw a birthday party. The birthday sim be Holly. Um, guests, we are going to invite our family. If they are in their hot dog outfits, I'm just going to change them. Uh -huh. Let's see who we all... Do we, we don't really have any friends. We have a bunch of, like, associates. I guess we have Jordan, and he's an old roommate. Um, obviously, Lance needs to be in there. Kelly needs to be in there. Uh, I guess we can invite Jon Snow. He's kind of Halloween-y. And we kind of know Marcel. Okay, so we'll, we'll get those. Um, honestly, we don't need a caterer. We don't need a mixologist. And we don't need an entertainer. So let's go ahead and have it here at the Skull House. All right. Oh, man. I meant to choose not gold. I even said I wasn't going to do gold. Ugh. Annoying. Annoying. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, honestly, I may check off the ones I don't want to do. So we can't make drinks. We can't eat cake. We can't have some stands at the same time. And I guess I could play a game with the birthday sim. I guess that's fine. So we can do all those. I do, however would prefer you change back into your costumes you didn't change your outfit yet you're about to though okay let's go ahead and change you back into your costume and you honestly i don't mind if you change into your party outfit i actually kind of prefer it because it gives the black cat vibes so this is good this is good honestly uh i kind of just want to go ahead and age my sim up right away so, maybe, let's see, the Sims are a little hungry. Okay, first of all, they need to go to the restroom. I should have done a need to check on them. My bad. 
Okay, you come here. You go to the nearest restroom because you're the woman. And then you go ahead and uh, uh, come up here and use this restroom. And then you all can grab some food. So I'm going to leave the mac and cheese out for people. But I'm going to have the family come grab from here. So maybe, um, let's see, what are our options? I don't remember what's what. Right, let's uh, grab some roasted chicken. You grab some roasted chicken. You grab some roasted chicken. And Holly, you go ahead and head out here and grab some roasted chicken. Everyone else should be headed out here. The, the spooky party music is playing. I don't know where Alexa's is going, but you know. <laughs> you know. All right, uh, oh, is Pasha grabbing some food? Oh, no, he's talking to the cat. Okay. But she is headed out here to grab some food. We're just going to feed everyone real quick. And then uh, we will age her up. And then we'll continue the rest of the party as a kid. All right, let's see. Are you just going to sit on the... Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't put anywhere to eat out here for a toddler. That's my bad. She can... She can eat by the table. That's fine. Oh, and everyone's coming out here to say hi to the birthday toddler. How cute. Okay. Okay. So they're all coming to say hi. You know, how about you? How about you? Where are you? Let's see. Where are you? You're still in the house. Can you teleport out here? And what are you feeling? You're scared from the bull fright. I don't like that. Okay. Teleport out here. And let's, how about, let's go ahead and just, uh, Call to a meal. Call to the meal. We'll cancel the toddler. Wait, good. They didn't get called. To Let's make sure they don't get called to the meal. Yeah, because they're eating, so they shouldn't be called to the meal. So everyone come grab the chicken. Oh, okay. Well, some people are grabbing food, but no one grabbed the chicken. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. But let's finish eating. Oh, yeah. Our toddler is a messy eater. Ugh. Okay, that's annoying. Lance, how about you come and... uh? Grab some fruit punch when you're done eating. Okay, I'm just letting mom... Okay, mom, can you not put the, the dishes up? I, I really admire you for that. But right now, I just want to deal with the toddler. So let's go here. Toddler, are you about done? Okay, you literally are full. So I'm just gonna, you know, reset you and age you up. So people are eating and stuff. I love that, but how about Lance, you come and, uh, more choices, actions, let's form a group with everyone, but Kelly and Holly, well, everyone you know at least, oh, apparently you do not have good, um, relationship with Cameron, I don't even know if we invited him, but he's on our list, so he must be around, okay, but let's just make a group with these, these people, because it's at least the family, uh, we don't really know Jon Snow, I guess that's one of Holly's friends, <laughs> So, we'll just have mainly have the family come over here and go here together. Uh, are you still eating? Okay, you're full. Can you stop eating? Can you stop eating? That would be great. All right, everyone head over there. And Kelly, perfect. You're already going to check on the toddler. Let's go ahead and more choices. Help blow out her candles. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Let's have you all gather over here. Go here. Um, go here together. All right. She's blowing our candles. We're about to miss it. So I'm trying to get everyone over here. Okay, but let's go ahead and get this picture of her blowing out her candles. Look at how cute she looks. Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe we can get, like, that shot. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. There we go. Oh, look at her agent on up. Love that. We have the cake area. All right, go ahead and age on up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Bam, boom, bam. Holly aged up, ma'am. All right, so I think she should have a multi-skill. Not that we're really going to work on it, but, you know, I think she'd be a creative genius. And I want to give her the creative trait, but I also kind of want to give her the gloomy trait. You know, we'll save the gloominess for when she's a teenager. Let's make her creative for as a kid. Oh, she's cute. Hold up. She is cute. She ha has little buck teeth. Okay, I might have to give her braces, but I like her face. I like her face. So before we eat cake, let's go ahead and give her a quick makeover, and then I will come back and finish out the party, which is already a, a, a gold. So really, like, 
it shouldn't be too much harder to finish. All right, so we are here with Holly's makeover, and I tried to channel Wednesday Adam black cat girl vibes. So we have, you know, the Wednesday Adam type hair with the pigtails and bangs, and then we have this black dress with the cats on it and the lace up boots. I just thought it was real cute, especially with the collar. And then I did give her a Halloween costume for this episode if we decide to use it. I don't know if we will. I'm going to try to remember to change her into it. But I also do have her party outfit. But she does have her Halloween outfit. And then for her formal wear, I gave her the whole vampire glam dress because she's a Halloween baby. I think it's appropriate. This is her athletic wear. Just black, went out all black. Had a sweater with some stars on it. For her sleepwear, I just gave her a black robe. And then for her party wear, we have this dress with the collar. Uh, for her swimwear, we have the full body black outfit. For hot weather, we have the same as her every day. And then her cold weather, we have this little sweater moment with some jeans. So that is our birthday girl. Let's go ahead and go back into the game and finish up the party and end the episode. All right, so here is our birthday girl in game. And I do, I love her er, outfit, don't get me wrong, but I do want to change her into this outfit. Oh, does she actually have to complete the other goals now? Oh, she still wants to do the remembrance. Okay, um, I'm going to check that offer because she was a toddler when we did that. So, and also these lights I did, I think they should count. The ones that aren't getting counted, I'm going to count them because we did that whole thing. I just checked you off. Okay. So, if you could change your outfit. Oh, honestly, though, we gotta get that. We gotta get that shot. <laughs> How freaking adorable. Okay. Okay, sorry. Can you try to my pictures? Okay, but did you... I said complete the holiday. Attrition. Does it not... Does... If I go back... Why is it not checking it off? It normally lets me cheat it. I don't know. I don't know. All right, but she is in her Halloween outfit now oh and mom and lance changed out of their outfits rude rude can we mc command center this real quick on dresser change outfit into your halloween outfit you change your outfit into your halloween outfit there we go there we go that's better that's better let's get a picture of all of them together in their outfits and then we are going to have Holly come here and she is going to go ahead and let's, do we, I forget if the, oh, uh, if the call to meal works. I don't think it does. So I'm going to have her grab her piece because the birthday girl should have the first piece. And then we'll have Lance call everyone to get a piece. So let's go ahead and have her grab her cake. Look how cute she looks. Let's get the picture of the whole cake setup area. I think this is a cute shot. All right. She is eating her cake. And Kelly, I don't think you're in the group. Yeah, you're not in the group. So you can come take your piece after you're done talking to your mom. And then Lance, you can have everyone come take a piece together. And that should get most of the cake done. Uh, I'm not doing dynamics. Okay, there's so many plates everywhere. Oh, apparently people are having trouble grabbing the cake. Okay, well, I hope there's enough for the people that are grabbing it. Okay, right, but she is here. And honestly, I think we should probably age up Spencer soon. With how fast she's aging up, he should be like a teenager by now. All right, well, I'll have to remember to try to do that between episodes. But maybe uh, she can get to know him while they are the same age. Maybe we can sing about pre-Halloween. We can tell a goofy story. Uh, maybe we can uh, uh, talk about favorite animal. They have, they do have a decent relationship. She has a decent relationship with her. Was this her cousin? No, her aunt. This would be her aunt and her uncle. So this came the the things mixed up. All right, but um, they got a sentiment gained. You know, it would be really cute. What if you two, since uh, everyone else is in group except you two, how about you add to group? Um, and then when you're finishing your cake, y'all can come swing together real quick. We could uh, ask to swing with Spencer when you're done with your cake. 
but finish your cake. Finish your cake real quick. One more bite. There you go. All right, you're good. Let's go ahead and swing with your uncle. That's the same age as you. Okay. <laughs> That's a little odd, but it's fine. It's fine. Where is he? Oh, he's already on the swings. He beat us to it. He beat us to it. I'm impressed. Okay, but let's get a picture of them swinging. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get a picture of both of them kind of coming forward. There we go. That's a good shot. All right, we'll get this picture. Bam, boom, bam. All right. So they have eaten cake. I mean, honestly, is there anything else? In Why won't let me go to the party? Oh, there's the party. Okay, yeah. It, we already checked off eat cake. Okay, so really all I want to do is have three dance some stance at the same time. So let's go ahead and Kelly's already dancing. Lance, how about when you're done, we can all come dance together. Kelly, I'm just gonna have you keep dancing. So you dance and then you you guys be done with the swing. It was a cute moment, but I want you guys to come dance together. And we'll just end this part this uh episode on one big dance party so Lance can you stop cleaning up dishes can you stop cleaning up dishes also I told you two to come swing a uh, dance together why didn't you stop swinging okay, let's try this again come and dance together come on Spencer let's come dance and then uh yeah everyone else is coming dancing all right come on people let's dance let's boogie down all right um the whole family at least is dancing. John Snow is just kind of sitting there using the drink fountain, which honestly I don't mind. I don't think that's horrible. So they're all, all dancing, chilling out here. But I think we're probably going to end the episode here. I can go ahead and end the party early. The people are still in a group, so they should continue to stay here dancing. But we have completed all the traditions. We completed the birthday party. For some reason, it's not letting me cheat this, but I think it's good enough to where they're all going to get a good holiday. So let's go ahead and end holiday early, and bam, boom, bay, all of their holiday was successful. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Uh, like I said, I know it's technically coming out like right after Halloween, which is my bad, but, uh, you know, <laughs> stuff happened. But I will later on today be posting the Halloween episode too, even though it's going to be a day late. And then I will start posting life and death content and you will be flashed with that content for the next week or two. So I'm going to end this one here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to the awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.